I met up with Simon and Mano from Rollboss Overland for a great morning in the dirt. Helderberg 4x4 is set in the vineyards of Stellenbosch on the Helderberg estate. It's the perfect spot for a morning drive. Because we're doing a trail today, I'm going to be taking the tire pressures down to about one bar. Um, that is just so that the tire has enough flex to move around obstacles, it prevents punctures, all sorts of things like that, gives you increased traction. So that's just going to be a kind of a good area for us to play around. We can go a little bit lower if we need to, but we're not in the thick sand or anything, so we don't need that much traction or that much surface area on the wheels. So I think one should be fine, it'll heat up to about 1.2 and that should give us plenty of grip. So as you can see, I've put the seats back up. I've taken all of our travel stuff out of the vehicle. I've just got the essential things that I need, an air compressor, a chair, a little cooler box, stuff like that. Um, you don't have to necessarily do that, but for me, I want to keep the vehicle as light as possible when I'm doing any sort of trail off-road trails or obstacles, anything like that. You don't want any extra things that can maybe make the vehicle roll. We worked our way through the vineyards over some pretty casual terrain. A bit bumpy with axle twisters, but nothing too severe. The trail began with a simple, steep incline, which was more about tyre position than anything else. It's interesting to see the size of the vehicles in comparison to one another and how the wheels flex differently. It's really interesting getting to see the traditional diff lock system working against the new limited slip diff system on the Suzuki Jimny, especially through these tough axle twisters. You actually get to see the brakes being applied and lifting the vehicle through the obstacle. We then arrived at the obstacle that would put our vehicles to a bit of a test. It didn't seem too hectic, but it was a steep incline with a quite a heavy axle twister and then a turn into another axle twister coming up over a steep rise. It was a challenge for Simon to find the right line and the wheel travel of the Fortuna fell slightly short and just wasn't able to give him the grip he needed. The only way he would be able to get through would be with a lot of momentum, but this could lead to severely damaging his vehicle if anything went wrong. So they decided to take the escape route and we met up with them again shortly. It's been pretty real out here. We've had a couple of obstacles where I've at least been able to get through, but Simon hasn't actually been able to get his Fortuna through. There's been some where, I don't know, you know, it's not like the Jimny struggles. I, I generally do most of the obstacles in one go, but I am starting to feel a little bit of like the extremes of the vehicle, where it's starting to maybe not struggle, but it's having to work. And it's a lot of fun. It is so much fun. This 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 vehicle is really a little mountain goat. It just kind of goes and it does its thing and couldn't ask for anything more. The brave Simon goes to investigate the situation while Adrian stands on the sidelines, scared of sliding down the hill.
there wasn't too much else after that to challenge us. So we made our way up the mountain to the viewpoint, pulled out the scuttle, and had a Burevos roll and a beer. A classic South African combination. It's great to meet awesome, like-minded people. We had a great chat and Simon showed me the progress of his vehicle build. He's also recently gotten the import rights for some of the Blue Ridge overlanding gear from the States, which looks really great. So we're definitely going to be seeing a lot more of that around South Africa. Great way to organize and compartmentalize your equipment to make a bit of extra space out of normally dead space. All in all, as we descended back along the route, I was left with high hopes for the future. I could easily see Rome and Royal Boss meeting up at some time in the future for a great overlanding adventure. I'm super excited to work on building up the overlanding community in South Africa and showing the world the beautiful places we have in our country. I really enjoy making these videos. And if you enjoy watching these videos and want to help the channel out a little bit more, you can check out my Patreon link below. Thanks for watching and please remember to like, subscribe and comment down below, get involved in the community and I will see you again next time.